first into the cage on this fight. We've got Jordan Baxter, UOC MMA. Bit of Skrillex. Bangarang. Can't be a bit of Skrillex. Oh yeah. So far, been a great night for the for the, the Battle Arena fans. Yeah, there's been some great fights, some great action. Now this one's a 63 kg A class fight. Jordan Baxter now in the cage. It's not his last fight, but the fight before he fought a guy who was much bigger than him. And the guy came at him like a freight train. And McCallum managed to get the sub in the end. And it was a, it was a fantastic fight. He displayed a lot of heart. His last fight for one of my team members, Robert Masters, was submitted with an anaconda choke. But again, McCallum has got a very bright future for this young man. He's a really tough competitor, heart of a lion. He'll die trying. Should be an interesting fight then. Again, Jordan. Jordan Baxter looks very, very big for a 63 kg guy. Yeah, he does. A tall, rangy guy. But looks solid as well. Yeah, definitely. McCallum in the blue, Baxter in the red with the white and black shorts. Honestly, when I saw him fight, the f his, not his last fight, the one before, the guy was much, much bigger than him. Big, mean-looking guy. Straight in with a body lock by Devin McCullum, but Jordan Baxter with a lovely little toss there. So, McCallum only another, another young lad. I think he's 18, 19, something along those lines. Yeah, he looks very young. Um, seems to know what he's doing. He's, he's, he's sort of locking down on the arm and the head at the moment. Yeah, trying I've to work back to guard. From what I'd seen, he was very, very, very slippery on the ground. So good instruction from the corner there, saying to step over and pass guard, which he has done straight side into side control. control. Lovely, lovely pass of guard there. McCallum wants to get this back to his feet, back to the feet, trying to explode out, but yeah. Baxter's got too, too much weight on him. Uh, giving up, turning his back, but he turns straight back in. Lovely feet now. There, Big oh, slam. A huge, huge slam there. I don't like when fighters turn their back on the opponent for like the headlock position standing. Um, it comes from the judo style of stuff. There's a lot of things in, in judo that work well in MMA. That's not one of them, unfortunately. And Baxter managed to be able to get a body lock on him and just do like a, a submission for a backwards. McCallum, he lets McCallum back to his feet who immediately shoots back in for the takedown. Baxter so, working the knees though. A little bit of clinch fighting up against the fence here. Some good knees by Baxter. So McCallum being told to let go of the shorts there. And Baxter again, taking his time, putting the weight on him. That's it, just tiring him out a little bit up against his fence, using them knees. Again, I've seen McCallum in deep water before, and he'll fight you till the end. He has got a heart. Oh. And that is a solid guillotine he's got on at the moment. 
It's like the power guillotine and he's let it go. Didn't quite have the right angle, did he? So another little like drop throw there by Baxter. Seems to like those. Straight into side control again though. So far Baxter looking very well rounded in, in all positions. McCallum still game, trying to get back to his feet. Yeah, he's definitely got that warrior spirit. He's not going to give up. So trying to go slide that near cross. McCallum throwing shots from underneath. Baxter looks like he's uh, trying to work the Americana. He's going for it. McCallum straight away sees it. it. Yeah. Turned in straight to the front headlock position again though. And end of the round. Good first round. Good first round. Steady. Both. Not as explosive as some of the fights. Both yeah. showing good technical skill from a, from a grappling point of view. Yeah, definitely. A lot more grappling than the uh, striking in this fight so far. Backs are looking nice and relaxed in the corner. Yeah, he's not even breathing remotely heavy. I think I breathe heavier when I'm going up the stairs. Looking very relaxed. Yeah, I think he did really well in the grappling exchanges, just applying his weight onto McCallum, uh, making him carry his weight a little bit. McCallum is looking a little bit more tired, but still, still, still fairly fresh, fresh so. They've both got plenty of energy ready for this second round. Here we go. Oh, nice hand by, right hand by McCallum there. And straight into the, the clinch game again. A couple of glancing shots from McCallum. I did see Baxter smile at him when they did land. Yeah, you always know a good shot's landed when somebody smiles at you. And Boom! Again with that, that sort of twisting technique. Baxter now in, in side control. It's kind of like a suplex, like a side suplex, straight into side control again though. He looks like he's going to try and single out that arm again. Yeah, he looks like he was trying to, trying to push it down and get the Americana key lock position, but He's gave it up now. He's putting pressure on against the uh, throat. And straight oh, to mount, lovely mount. transition. McCallum tried to turn out of it. No shots to the head, unfortunately. Baxter's thrown a couple of punches. It is A-class, so they are allowed. He looks like he's using the shots to possibly yeah. take and an arm. Yep, he's going he's for it. Bob, but I think he's spun a little bit too soon, but he, he does seem to have got it. He's but no, oh, no lovely well. McCallum. And McCallum's Look, on top now. Lovely defending by Beautiful. him. Beautiful. He's, he's managed to get himself into half guard, but on top. He wants that mount or that side control. He looks like he's going to go straight for mount there. Yeah, I think he tried to go straight for mount. Baxter managed to get him into a guard position. Let's see what Baxter's like on his back now. See if McCallum can... Uh, Throw down some ground and pound. I think McCallum has a look about him like he wants to get some revenge for being on the bottom. Just being told to work a little bit more by the referee. They are having a little bit of a rest down there. McCallum looking like he wants to posture. That's it, double with punch. Big double punch. Big double punch. The Sakuraba. And the arm bar again. He's stepping over though. He's hopefully he's got over. it. Yeah. It looks like it. Ooh, it's, that it's arm a, is getting twisted position. around. The referees, and the referee's called it. Ref's called it. And the referee's called it. We've, we've had a few of those tonight. I don't know. Um, I don't know if that one was necessarily the right decision. Uh, we've had a couple earlier today where we had one belly down. I think that was definitely the right. Um, yeah, that one there is hard to say. It was a, was, it was a it funny was, angle, but yeah, I know it, what you it was mean. Yeah, a funny definitely. angle. It did look like it was slightly hyper-extended, but McCallum jumped over really well and came up at the other side. I think it was... I would have liked to see at least a few more seconds, yeah, perhaps. Yeah, two or three more seconds, I think it would have made a, a better idea of what was going to happen with it. And so, ladies and gentlemen, the time.